Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you all of my favorite spots for hunting for warthogs. But before we head into it, guys, if you wouldn't mind, stop what you're doing and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you guys so very much for being here today. So this lake is one of my favorites for hunting for ward hogs. I have shot several diamonds off this lake, but not in quite a while. So I am wondering if they have changed the, ooh, that is a big gemspot. Very big for a level four, that's a big one. But uh, as I was saying, this is a really great lake. I have shot two diamond red browns from this lake and actually it was two days apart, which was pretty crazy, but it was about six months ago. And I have not shot a diamond off this lake in quite a while. But the nice thing about this lake is that there are all kinds of warthogs. There are going to be at least usually three different drink zones for them. And it is open so you can see them. A lot of the lakes in Savannah, the warthogs are drinking, but you can't see them. They're hidden in the brush. And what good is that, right? That makes it a lot harder. So you're going to also find all kinds of gemsbok out here. And this is the lake right here. So that's a really great spot for hunting for warthogs. And most of the spots I'm gonna show you today are their drink zones, and that's from four to eight or 8.30 a.m. But my very favorite spot to hunt them is actually in a feed zone, and I will show you that right at the end, as well as I am going to share with you a map with all of my favorite spots for hunting for warthogs. And I will also post that map to my Discord, and I would love it if you guys join my Discord. I will leave the link below the video. So we are heading out here to another little lake, and this is a very small lake, but there are generally warthogs here, and it is another open lake, which is nice. So this little lake usually has one, sometimes two drink zones for warthogs, and it's always gonna have just a pile of gemsbok around it. And you can sometimes find lions drinking around this lake as well during their drink time, so it is a really good little lake. I have never shot a diamond warthog off of this lake, but quite some time ago, I did shoot my very first diamond gemsbok off of this little lake. So it's a pretty decent lake. And here it is there. So you just run northeast to that little lake there. All right, so this lake here is a jaunt. It is a long run. It's about a kilometer away from the closest outpost but you're gonna find warthogs here. It can be very thick and hard to see them, but I have shot more than one diamond warthog off of this lake. We have a level three there. So when I'm hunting for warthogs, I do always check this lake. It is a very large lake. And sometimes what I do is I spot the entire lake and if I can't see much, cause sometimes you can't see them, I will run around the lake and look for max weight tracks and track down the big ones to see if I can't find a diamond. And a max weight warthog track would be 123 to 150 kilograms. I do use kilograms. You can convert that into pounds if you prefer, but that is your biggest warthog track. Doesn't guarantee you a diamond, that's for sure, but it will lead you to a four or a five. And that guy is just a silver. He's a 38.2 and we managed a double long shot from 183.17 and that's a gray. They're really shiny, aren't they? So that's the lake right there. And I have shot diamonds off of this lake, several diamonds off of this lake. So it is definitely a spot you should check if you are looking for a diamond warthog. Now this is one of the bottom center lakes. And I believe there are several drink zones for warthogs, but there is usually one right out in the open, just right out here in front of the lake. And the rest of them seem to be hidden. I just can't see them. There's tracks all over. And that guy's a gold, 49.1. So what you can do if you know you have pigs that are drinking, but they're hidden, is get to about 150 meters away from them and call them out and don't start shooting until every single one is out because the last one to come out will be the diamond. I promise you. Always spot every single one before you take your first shot. 
And this brings me to my very favorite spot for hunting for warthogs. And this is in the bottom left hand corner of the map. And this is a feed zone. And you are just going to find a pile of warthogs and they're right out in the open. And sometimes I can find 30 to 40 warthogs here. And I have shot several diamond warthogs from this spot. I shot a diamond warthog during a Twitch stream about a month ago from this spot. Last week I shot an albino warthog from this spot. This is the very best spot in my opinion on the entire map because you have so many of them and you can see them. They're right out in the open for you. So I'm using the air gun. It's doing a great job. They are not spooking. I used it on those axis deer. I hadn't used the air gun in a long time and man it's great i'm definitely going to be using this gun a lot more often so i decided to give it a try on the warthogs it is the very first time i've used it on them and i managed to take out more than what i would have i'm sure had i used the m1 or the 30 odd so i don't mind sneaking in a little closer and the nice thing is that i have a bunch of warthogs not too far away and they have no idea that any funny business has been going on. So we are gonna take a shot on this nice big max weight range level four warthog. And the other nice thing about this spot is right behind it, if you travel about another 100 meters, 150 meters, you're gonna find resting wildebeest and that is my favorite wildebeest spot. So this corner is amazing. It's one of my favorite spots on the map. It's just an all round great spot to hunt. And that is the spot where I shot the Diamond Wildebeest in yesterday's video. So we're just having a look at these guys. There's just so many and when they spook, they disappear for a few minutes and they come right back. <laughs> uh, that's pretty sweet. All right, so here is my M1. This is a gift for you, my friend. You are going to die. They are never quite perfectly still when they're feeding. They are always inching up, but they are still enough. And he is down. And second one for good measure. All right, that was pretty sweet. Let's go have a look. And we have a red brown that is very cool so that is one of their color variations and they have pinkish hair and they are very cool looking so that's a pretty sweet find and he is a 52.5 and he is a gray double lunged him from just under 200 meters so yeah this is definitely such a great spot for warthogs. This is the first spot I hit when I'm hunting them on every server. Absolutely. And that is a gray as well. And this is where you're going to find them. So you're going to spawn in at that outpost and you are just going to run right over and you're going to stop about 200 meters from when you first spot them. And then you can make your way in. And this is our last spot for today's video, and this is at the inlet at the very top of the map that is so great for Cape Buffalo. You're also going to find warthogs here. And we have a level three. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Okay, we also have a level five here. Man, my luck in Savannah this week has been pretty awesome. That is that is pretty crazy. I'm a little speechless right now. Well, we haven't picked him up yet, so I guess we are going to definitely shoot this guy, and hopefully it'll be a diamond, and that will be the very first diamond that I have ever shot off of this spot. I have seen big fours here, but I have never seen a five here. All right. We are using the M1 for this guy. Look at the tusks on him. Yes, he is down. That's crazy. Okay, here he is. Look at the size of him. Look at that. 
and we have a diamond warthog. That is pretty crazy. All right, well, this guy weighs 144.04 kilograms. He is 60.90 for trophy, and we managed a thoracic spinal cord and right lung shot from 148.09 meters. So, those were great spots, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> No, that's pretty crazy. That, that is pretty awesome. That is a pretty sweet find. Well, I'm going to take you to the map now. Let's have a look here. Okay, so I have put red stars in these spots that I have shot diamonds. And the blue star is my very favorite feed zone. And I have also shot many diamonds from that spot. Probably 80% of the diamond warthogs that I have shot have been from that feed zone where the blue star is. Honestly, guys. So here is where you want to hunt for them. You will find them at the little lakes, but it is so thick, it's impossible to see them. And I went there looking for them. I see tracks, but I can't find them. So I would recommend hunting in the spots that I provided for you. You're just going to find them way easier that way. And I want to thank you guys so much for being here today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can join us for more videos. Until next time, you guys take care. We will see you soon.